Hey, welcome back to Daily Hope. We are in this riveting true story of this plot to kill the Jewish people and God's plan to save the entire nation, including, by the way, the great, 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 great grandparents of Mary and Joseph, who will have the Messiah, Jesus. Uh, God's going to save their lives and tens of millions of lives through a teenage girl named Esther. Now, the real fork in the road of the story is this moment where Esther says to her adoptive dad, I'd love to help, but the king will kill me. And he sends back a message and he says, hey, you're going to die either way. You have this window of opportunity to do what's right, do what's right. And in verse 14, this is the message he sends through the messenger. And it's such a fitting word for us today. If you keep quiet at a time like this, deliverance and relief for the Jews will arise from some other place. So Esther is the only book of the Bible that never mentions God by name. But what Mordecai is saying is, if you don't step up and do the right thing, God will work through someone else to do the right thing. But Esther, you have an opportunity for your legacy for your eternal story and your eternal reward to be, that's the teenage girl that saved a nation and saved the ancestors of Jesus, the Messiah, who saved the whole world and redeemed billions of people from every tribe, tongue, and nation from sin. This teenage girl, it, it hinged on this moment and she stepped out and did what's right. Now, in the same way, Ephesians 2 verse 10 says that you were created in Christ Jesus to do good works that he has prepared in advance for you to do. And you have no idea how nations can be saved, generations can be saved by you faithfully doing your part today. If you keep quiet at a time like this, God will deliver the Jews some other way, but you and your relatives will die. In other words, you're gonna die either way, but you could be part of preventing death for millions of others and maybe saving yourself as well. We'll pick up there tomorrow at verse 14. There's a little bit more in there that I want to chew on. But for today, let's just make it our prayer to say, God, I don't want to miss out on anything you've created me to do. In fact, could I pray that for you right now? Father, uh, we think of the different doors that we walk through in life. Every day there are different doors of decision. We have Ten doors we can pick and we choose one. And, and Lord, the day will come when we breathe a final breath and... All our choices will have been made. And the most important choice, our faith in you. I pray for anyone who doesn't yet have that, that they'd walk through the door of faith in you. And then, Lord, every single one of us who know you, who are trying to serve you, Lord, we want to be like Esther. We want to walk through every door of spiritual opportunity that you've planned for us. We know that you're going to do your work in the world with or without us. Jesus will return. He'll make everything right. It's not on our shoulders. But... We don't want to miss out on a single opportunity of what you want to do through us. So God, today, we give you our thoughts, our time, our treasures, our talent, our ability, our time, especially our years on earth. We give all that to you. We ask that you would use us to do your work in this world. We pray in Jesus' name. Amen.